Captain CA here for Flats Class YouTube today. And if you've been paying attention, you know that Shimano now is playing a lot bigger role with Flats Class and Flats Class TV. So today on YouTube, as you can see, I've been busting out all of these new Shimano products that Blaine and Brian have been sending to me and doing YouTube videos. <clears throat> We've also been field testing them on the show down in South Florida. Uh, I've been up here on the Nature Coast fishing with family, neighbors, clients, you name it. Um, fishing all kinds of techniques and scenarios to really put this stuff through its paces. So now I'm going to get ready and do a YouTube video and tell you about a little sight fishing setup that I fell in love with. It matches a brand new series of rods with kind of an old school reel, but for me, it works. And right now, I'm going to send you to watch me sight fish with it in southeast Louisiana while I get set up. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. There's one right out there. Right about there. Watch this. Come on, buddy. Find it. Got it. Man, this is a great target rod. This little six foot nine medium action. Shimano did a good job with this one. I mean, it's almost like you can put it in their mouth. This is their Terramar Double X. It's a medium action rod. It's got a real fast tip. Perfect for sight fishing. I paired it up with a pretty fast Corrado here. This is their 8.5. Man, this is super nice to be able to see a fish like that and just lay it out there a foot or two in front of them and just slide it up and catch every one. And I'm just using 30 pound fluorocarbon. I've got a Reverse all bright tied to some power pole, uh, power pro braid. Come on, buddy. Let me get a hold of you. And I'm just throwing that little bugs, bugs jig here. Sight fishing looks just like a crustacean. It's got all the right colors. It fools these guys every time. That's a fat redfish right there. Real fat one. All right, buddy. Back in the pool you go. What a day of field testing. I love it. Pretty cool video. I, I was even impressed with how, how good the rod behaved for me in those quick casting scenarios where a fish would show up, just get into range where I could make a quick cast and hook them right up. And a lot of that has to do with this new rod. This is a series that's been around with Shimano for a while, but this is the new Terramar Double X. This is the TXSC 6.9 medium rod. It's It's got a, a, a real bud of about 11, 12 inches. It possesses the CI4 uh, real seat that really is so light and so strong and does not flex. It allows me to put my finger right on the blank there so I feel the slightest tap when a fish hits a jig. Uh, they say this is a medium action, but with the High Power X and the Spiral X technology, the rigidity and the torsion control, which means it doesn't twist the blank when you set the hook, and it stays nice and straight so it delivers a nice, accurate cast, really sets this thing apart. It's got all the Fuji guides on it. For the money, this is an amazing rod, a really amazing rod, and turning into one of my favorites, especially when I'm targeting a little bit heavier fish, because there are casting scenarios where I use a lighter rod than this, especially when I'm throwing stuff that's light, but this has got a lower weight of one quarter to five eighths, and a lot of the sight fishing baits that I use, like jigs, uh, swim baits, um, bucktail jigs, hair jigs that I'm fishing slow that cast a little more 
awkwardly like the bugs. And even if I want to switch it up and, and put maybe even this one's got trebs, but single inlines on a twitch bait where I can cast it and get a quick hookup. But six foot nine for me, perfect rod. Really like this. I, I typically spool this up. This is a, a Carano uh, 200 series reel, and we're going to get to that next. But 20 pound Power Pro braid is the ideal setup for this rod, especially the stiffness, because so much of of the fishing that I'm doing with this rod is close quarters. I'm, and when I say close quarters, when I'm fishing Louisiana, Northeast Florida, or anywhere, Everglades, even here on the Nature Coast where I have tight, tight spots, there's a lot of pitching that goes on. And with a softer rod, I can't do that. And you need a rod that can really set the hook quick and, and handle it. Now, let's talk about the Curado Reel in this next segment. All right. Enough of the gushing over the new Shimano Terramar Double X. That's a brand new thing. The Corrado now, well, that's something that's been around forever. I mean, it's it's been around for 20 odd years. I, I can remember using Corrados forever and a day ago, but they have gotten better and better and better with every evolution. Now this is the 200 size, which I like, especially when I'm fishing for bigger fish. Uh, this is the 200 XGK. It weighs probably a little more than seven and a half ounces. I don't get too technical with all this stuff. Um, it's built with a lot of the higher technologies that Shimano has in the higher end reels. Uh, and that's kind of nice because this reel's under 200 bucks now. So pretty cool. Uh, big handle, love the big handle, love the wider frame, even though it's not too wide, it's, but it's, it's bigger than some of the other stuff that I'm used to using, big wide thumb bar. Uh, I actually got this reel in hopes that it was gonna be an incredible top water reel because this one happens to be more of the burner speed, about 8.5 to one, picks up about 36 inches per handle turn. But for sight fishing, like you saw in the video, it's really handy. If you make an errant cast or you have to burn it back because it is a long bomb throw, which this thing does a great job of bombing casts out there, even with light jigs, trust me. The SVS braking system in this is awesome. I mean, it'll make a novice casting reel guy a pro in no time, lickety split. But if I make a bomb cast, to a fish I see waking away a redfish on a shallow flat or something like that, and it gets blown over by wind, because I don't make inaccurate casts, I'm able to burn this thing back and get a second cast before he's out of range. That's a big deal. So I've got this one spooled up with 20 pound braid, but there are cases where I'm fishing creeks in Jacksonville, Florida, or in the grass in Charleston, where I'll load this thing up with 40, 50, and sometimes 65 pound braid. On this particular rod setup, I can still pitch, catch those big fish, know I've got enough line capacity. It possesses about 11 pounds of max drag, which is phenomenal. I can stop anything. Can you imagine a fish dragging around a 10 plus pound dumbbell around its neck? Now you're gonna stop that thing for sure. So uh, has all the cool stuff, the Hagani frame and the X-Ship um, properties. Even though this is really marketed as a freshwater reel, I can tell you I've been using it in saltwater for a while in a lot of brackish water situations and it's held up well. Easy to adjust, all the centrifugal braking, um, star drag and whatnot. For the price point, it's the perfect setup with this rod to do what you saw me doing in the video. Hope you enjoyed this. If you like what you're seeing here at Flats Class YouTube, I want you to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. That's right. I want you to subscribe. I want you to become a bigger fan of this channel and share it with all your buddies. We're doing podcasts here. We're putting our TV shows here. We're doing fishing tips here. We're doing product reviews here. Um, we're doing fun stuff here. Even doing fishing trips. I whether I go fishing with my wife or go fishing with my son or fishing with a, a neighbor here, we do it all here to entertain you and to educate you. Hope you enjoyed this little piece. Until next time, Captain CA signing off.